This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so bring up your beer mug and then um, under the size, we're gonna make it fit to the hoop. And so we want it to fit into the 120 by 120 hoop. And it's gonna be a natural orientation. So say okay to that and we've set our height. And then we're gonna go down here under your stitch types. We're gonna go to the second one, which is the motif line. And when you click on that, you're gonna probably turn to stars if you reset your default, but that's not what we're gonna use. So we're gonna to go to the options and we're going to go to universal under the category and we're going to go to bean stitches bean stitches and we're going to go to number 13 and we're not going to change any other settings here we're just going to use the default. So go ahead and say okay to that. And your little, your picture changed to a bean stitch, although you can't quite see it on my computer. And then um, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and edit this mug. So. We did okay to that. Let me see here on the outline window up here on the edit the shape. That's what we want to click on. So we're going to click on that and it's going to launch us. You're going to get the little pop up that says you're going into draw and paint. And I got to make this bigger. Oh, thank you very much. That's much better. Okay. So now we're um we're in there did everybody get it to come up and draw and paint oh should be where i am let's see i did okay all right so i don't know we'll see if i made it i don't know if i got something else hang on a minute let me let me see where i'm at i think i'm okay so yes okay editing and draw and paint yeah, you were, you were in the, I was turned, there. Yeah, it turns purple and it was at the very top. It says draw and paint. Okay, where'd it go? Oh, this should be it. Okay. All right. Yep. See, I got a little bar that's hiding it. Is oh, what's happening. On your yeah. screen? Yeah. Yeah, on, just on, just, yeah, just on my screen. Okay. So now go over to the home tab, which see that's not it. Let me, see here. Let me try that again. Sorry, guys. Let me get out of this for a second. Okay, so I did that. I changed that. I said next. But oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Sorry, hang on here. Okay, I think I got 10 screens up. Uh, I do. Okay, file. It'll only take me a second, I swear. Sorry. You wait for us, we can wait for you. Thank you. All right. I don't know what's going on here, but okay, I'm going to try it again. Mm. Okay, there he is. Fit to the hoop. 120. 120. Okay. Uh, natural. Not that it matters. Say okay to that. Change this to the bean stitch. I think. I'm going to need another new computer very soon. 
Okay, so say okay to that. Okay, now we're gonna go over here to edit and you're already there and say open the window. Okay. Okay. So what we're gonna do is go select all. And when you select all, we should have the whole mug and you, you have this little thing around it, right? You have your squares. So what we're gonna do is we wanna make the mag, the mug a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna grab and go in to and I went in two grids on this one. What are, what's the grid size? Should I have changed it somewhere? Well, you know what? I actually, let me go over to view. I actually reset mine to the default, which this is, that's way too big. It's normally 10. Okay. Right? Mine's real, mine's real tiny. So when I did it at home, I had reset the thing. Let me, um, so I'm gonna go back to the original size here now. One, two, okay. So, yeah it doesn't matter if you make it too small you're not going to be able to get any words in there so i'm just going to make it about like that because no matter there's not specific settings so ours are not going to be exactly the same no matter what okay so that took care of page number three so now we're going to go over here on the right side and, and tell it down here to center this into the canvas. And it's down under the edit word. So center it in the canvas. And then. Okay. Then we're going to go edit points. And when you click on edit points. You are going to see everybody's favorite. Bezier oh. curve. Well, I, I, I'm sorry. I guess my brain isn't functioning yet. Where did you do center in the hoop? Or so you... down here on the right side, down on the right side toolbar, which I've never done something down here before. It looks like you're centering one under edit. I see. So you have the, do you see it? Yeah, thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like I haven't worked down on this side before of that. So yeah. I know you guys love Bezier, right? Woo! Right. Yes, Carol, we love Bezier. We're going to make it to points anyway before we start editing, unless you really want to do it in the Bezier. And I know you probably do, but I we're going to convert those Bezier to points. We just signed off because she won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so under edit again, on the next row down is the convert to point line. So click on that. And now your mug has like regular dots on it instead of the Bezier curve. Okay, now we're going to do something and it seems weird, but it's okay. We'll fix it later. So what you're going to do is it's telling you on number seven, um, let's zoom in a little bit to the bottom of the mug. So zoom in down here so you have your bottom part of the mug, okay? And then, oh, get out of my way, you stupid. Okay. Oh, you crap. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to this bottom one here. Do you see which in the two corners? And we're gonna hold down the shift key and just grab him and drag him just a little bit till he turns into a square. Okay. And I know it's weird, but trust me on this, because I've done it a few times. 
And then you're gonna go over here on the right side and do the same thing. Hold the shift key down, grab the dot and grab it out till it turns into a square. Okay. So now we're starting to make the mug take a more square shape, but we're not done yet. So that took care of page four. Now we're going to go up to the top of the mug and we're gonna do the same thing at the top of the mug. So get your uh, top left dot point, shift and drag it a little bit till it turns into a square, okay? And then the same thing over on the right-hand side. Get it and drag it. And I'm gonna give you guys a second to do that. And don't worry about it being perfect. We can mess with it in a little bit. All right. Are you got if you're good, I'm gonna go on to the what the next step is, which is um number ten. But I am gonna go zoom back to my hoop, even though it doesn't say it, so I can see what's okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of all the points except for those four that we just turned into squares. So I'm going to go over here on the right hand side under delete stitch points. And I know you guys have all done this before. So click on your delete stitch points and start deleting these extra points out. And as you do, this will give you a nice straight edge. Don't do it through the handle, just do it on the sides of the cup. And then that'll give you a nice straight edge. Right there. See, I told you it wouldn't matter. Okay. And then come over here and do it again on this side down to the handle. I just lost my mouse. Okay. Minus E minus. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Okay. And then the same thing here at the bottom below the mug bot a handle two three four okay and then because these guys under here are uneven i'm going to minus those out as well and at that point we've basically reshaped the beer mug into a coffee mug all right so now, if you want to move a point, remember you have to right click. You have to right click to finish your delete points or you're going to keep deleting points. Okay, so you want to finish that and then it'll go back to what it was. And mine looks kind of cockamamie. I don't know about you guys, but I'm Fiddle around with it a little bit more. I'm gonna go back to edit on the points. And then we're just gonna take this bottom guy and drag him out. And this guy here, I'm just gonna work on those four points now, using my grid to make things straight the way I want them or the way you want them, okay. Um, this, this looks like not quite right either. So I'm gonna try to straighten that handle up a little bit. Okay, so you guys fiddle there for a minute and, and I'll wait to give you a couple minutes to work on that. So basically you just want it to be straight up and down. Or if you want your mug to be a different shape, have at it. That's a really cool feature. That you can I know change. when I was messing around, yeah. I was I was thinking that you could probably make it into more like a, a flattened out coffee cup, you know, like a lower one, like a cappuccino mug or something like that. But we definitely couldn't do that before. That was that was added this time, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um looking at all okay, the different so 
<laughs> yeah, you could really get crazy. Yeah, because we used to have just uh, not too many given given shapes to start with when we first got it. Right. Well, and we're going to do something else cool. We're going to put a super design in with our word sculpt, which I'm pretty sure we couldn't do that before either. Or not easily. Okay, so if you need to edit it again, like I said, go over there and click on edit points. Too much. That's cute. Okay. So when you're done editing that, was that enough time or do you need to edit some more? I'm okay. All right. So what we're going to do now is we are going to close the word sculpt up here from the top right hand screen and then it will magically put the new coffee the new mug right onto your word sculpt so we've basically redone the cup and now we're going to go ahead and say next Now, we're going to go up here in the words where it has one, two, three in the word sculpt, and we're going to clean those out by highlighting them backspace or just highlighting them and type over them. And then on number 17, we're going to type in the words uh, with a comma in between them. So we got coffee. Coffee, tea, uh, hot, comma, chocolate. All right. So now in the settings, it says to uncheck the um, oh, upper key. That's me, right? Well, it might be. I didn't see a pop up on, on mine, but sometimes I do. Um, so it in her instructions, webcam. Said, yeah, you can try that to see if you got some more juice, some more bandwidth. Um, so it says to uncheck the uppercase only. And then paste, place um, a check to use the words only once. So try that, see what happens for you. So if you look, um down there i don't think that's what she really meant because if you look at the pictures down on number 20 she's got a bunch of um she got a bunch of words in there so if you say only use them once it doesn't make sense to me so i'm going to have you uncheck both of them and then you're going to change your margin to zero and keep the font size at 12. Okay, so then we're going to come down here uh, and change our color theme from original. Click the drop down and scroll down through there till you find the earth. And our orientation is going to be whoopsie get out of my way okay uh your orientation is going to be set to horizontal and vertical i don't remember this being in here before either i could be wrong but i don't remember that and then go ahead and tell it to um, refresh your preview
and did your what's going on? Let me give in a second. I guess that's it. So if you do a refresher preview and you refresh again, it'll there we go. So there it just changed it. It just took a while. So if you wanted one prior, it won't let you do that. You can't undo the to the preview before. So just keep that in mind in case you like the way they were. And so if you want to try it again, you can hit refresh preview again and see what it does. Mine is not refreshing very fast. I don't know if, there we go. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna make some more adjustments here, but uh, so get to where you kind of like it. I'm gonna go ahead and say finish at this point um, for my word sculpt. So I'm gonna say finish and it's gonna dump it back into my screen. And you should have something that looks like that. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to use the film strip. And we're going to start working on the words um, in there. So go to the top of your toolbar. And I'm on page uh, 7, number 21. And go ahead and click on group. So once you do the ungroup here, each one of your words are a separate entry on the film strip. Okay. Which we didn't have before. So we're just going to use some of the different things so you can pick whatever word you want. So pick one of your words by clicking it on it on the film strip. So I'm going to click on coffee, for example. And you can see when I did that, when I clicked on coffee from the film strip, now I have all my boxes and I have my little uh, yellow note paper um, that'll let me do adjustments. So you can go ahead and grab onto the, these and you can, you know, you could, you could do whatever you want here with your first word and we're just going to try doing some some different things here you just mess around you know because once you've uh selected it and now you can edit all the letters kind of separately okay and you can do this till your heart's content but we're going to go on to a different one um so let's go ahead and click on another word in the film strip. I'm just going to click on the next one down, which happens to be T. And on the word T, someone just stuck their tongue out at me. On the it was whizzy in case you didn't hear the laugh. Um, so on the word T, right click, and we are going to go to edit lettering. So from right here, we're going to go pick a different font to use without getting out and going over to another screen. Um, I'm going to change it to curly. I don't know, curly. You can change it to whatever you want. I like curly. And say OK to that. And it's that simple to go ahead and edit the words without even leaving the page. Um, so we did that, which was on number seven. Okay, so this time let's click on another word. Let's go on to whichever one you want, hot. And this time we're gonna click on the yellow box. Yeah, I'm an hour late for, I'm, you guys, I, my timer just went off for class and I still made it on time. <laughs> I'm so, so, so scary. Okay, this time we're going to click on the yellow box, which gives us a whole bunch of cool stuff. So let's click on 
the yellow the yellow note paper and let's do a diamond so here you go you can start shaping it like that and let's just click on that again and try a different one let's go to um, match the top and bottom lines okay so you can you can do all those things you can move it around and i know that i need to make myself a space here for um another word okay so let's go ahead and try this time let's try to put a word down in the handle and see how that goes and on the exercise they did tea just for fun i was going to do coffee but it might take me till wine 30 so i'm going to not do that okay so this time let's grab the rotate key so all the functions you're you're used to using are right here within each word when we've selected it this way okay so i'm going to go ahead now and uh get onto this go to your yellow piece of paper and let's go to the cons constraint pre so if I do that, then you can go ahead and manipulate those letters right into the handle. Okay. So you could play with those little letters there till your heart's content. Okay. And then you can go back and forth and move them around however you want. So after you have your letters where you want them, we're going to go ahead from right here and I'm going to go to Super Designs. And we're going to go to, let's see where it is. I think it's under food and drink in super designs. I seem to be, what's happening? Line, line, silhouettes. Oh, I know why I don't have super designs because my category is set to animals. So let's go to food and drink under here. Isn't it called food and drink? I could be joking. Food. Oh, there it is. Coffee and coffee and drink. That's what I meant. Uh, so let's go to the coffee pot, which I went past. Okay, let's go get this coffee cup right here. So now you can take the super design and I'm gonna make it, let's say 30. And I'm making up the size cause I don't know what size I used yesterday. Okay, oh, that was pretty good. So then you can go ahead and put your super design right inside your word skull. And again, you might have to move some stuff around to make it work. Okay, so when you get it the way you like it, then you can go ahead and save it. And if it's too busy, you can start deleting some of those words out of there. Oh, maybe that is why she only wanted you to do it once. Delete. Okay, so you can continue editing until your heart's content, which is pretty good. It's pretty. You got a lot of options really with the way this is set up.
you know, if you want to change the center of rotation, which you can take that and move it somewhere else. So then it'll be rotating around that point instead of center. So there's a lot of tools you use here on this one. And when you get it the way you like it, you can save it and you can export it. And there you are. So this was an easy one to make up after what we did the last time I think it was. So what what uh, word sculpt are you going to edit next? Carol, when yes? you said, if you want to go back to edit these points, well, how do you get in there? Uh, if you want to edit the points of the cup, you mean the, the mug points? You know you don't remember when we were editing points because my coffee cup in one place has got a curve instead of a. I didn't get it out far enough. How do I get uh, out? Well, I'm thinking about that. Uh, I would think you would. Let's see if we go to modify. Let's see if we go to modify if it would let us. Uh, no. Uh, modify. Wait, select. select stitches. No. Yeah, let's see. Select. No, that didn't do it. Uh, but we can't go back to this. That other. We can't go back to a edit screen. It's yeah. Sure, there, sure. There's an edit screen in modify, but. Oh, yeah. So that's what, hang on, hang on. So if we went to home and now we went to, if we went from here, go to edit design. So then it's going to open it in Stitch Editor. Let's see if we can do it from here. Okay, so now let's see. Let's see, select stitches. Hmm. So, um, let's see, select all visible. Oh, there you go. But I don't know if that's still going to let you get to the stitches. Yeah, because it's just giving me the corner ones. Yeah, just given the corner ones. Change your view uh, in your view. Change it to uh, where you can see the stitches. Uh, oh, two D stitch points. Oh, but it's still not going to let you. Stitch point. Uh, okay, modify. You should let the uh, grab. Okay. Uh, insert color changes. Insert stitches. Uh, I'm not seeing off the alignment. Mm, edit. It'll let you put commands in, but let's see here. I know the master's Judy's on. She might already have figured it out. Object, edit, no. Uh, select design. Uh, on your screen, I can see stitches, can't I? Well, they're stitch points, but they won't let me Hit select stitches there on the home tab. Yeah. Now, now you see. 
Now you should be able to grab them. I could. I'm only able to grab the whole thing. Uh, I'm able to grab an individual one. Get away. You are? Get in the center. Get away from the big corner. I mean, the center of the line up there and just touch one of those little stitch points. It won't there you move. go. It will. It move? See it move? Oh. It's just yellow. You can barely see it. Yeah. Oh, because uh magnify it. Well, and because it's a bean stitch, right? It's um you're gonna yeah, have you're lots of stitches there. You got all those stitches there. But if you magnify it and box select one of those black points, you should be able to all move them at once, can't you? Let me get this thing out of my, let's see. Um, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you yeah. Can got a bunch. But now you Hey, Liz, I could have redone the whole coffee but, cup by now if I'd have started over. <laughs> you know what you can do? You can change that bean stitch to something easy. To well, that's true. Stitch. If you go to object, will it let you change that bean stitch to something else? And select. Let's see, where's object? Is it? Well, if I got, if I went to, what did I just do that I went to? You went to object. Object. And then when I clicked on the bean stitch, well, it let me select more. Um, at once. And it'll let me insert points. But over to the left. Um, you've got to convert right next to where you are now. Okay. Convert. Uh, running stitch. It is a motif. Let's see. Let's see what it does. Yeah, that didn't work. No. Hmm. Liz, I think you're going to make a new coffee cup. The thing is, you just start over again. Yeah. Good practice. Yeah. Edit double stitch. No, it's not going to let me do it like that. But I don't know why it highlight. like why, do you see how these two look black? I don't. Because in object, it selected what it considers one whole thing. Convert. Hmm. But it won't let me convert anything to anything I want it to. I know. <laughs> hey. Oh, we're hmm. satisfied, are we? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, look at all this stuff we can do. Oh. Well, we yeah. want more. Yeah, yeah. Well, you guys, the other thing that Liz asked me this morning, this morning, I mean, 45 minutes ago was, <laughs> was she was asking me about Vantage, and I was telling her that uh, you could now get to that information. Um, right inside your my so net so i'm thinking i need to go to help right from here let's just go open so I don't want that. Yes. Help. 
Okay, I got to get out of this. Okay, hang on. So I wanted to take her to the place where we could watch the videos and stuff. Well, that's under my son and my son. So. You, can you do that through the software? Well, I thought I could get there from here. Oh, I've never done that. I've watched them go into mysonet.com and clicking on the Knowledge Center. I was thinking you might be able to get there. I was thinking you get there from here, but now that you say that, I think you're, I think you're right. But I do yeah, think at this point, that. you can still watch them at both places. Yeah, I've got to straighten out a little bit, but you'd have to keep going back, messing with it. Demo, configure. No, I thought I could get there from here, but I must be crazy. My account, software help. Let's see what happens if we click on this. Oh. That's why I thought I could get there from there, but okay, I'm not going to say what we just did because it's not really all that beautiful. Well, it dumped me to the help tab. Um, index, glossary. So it doesn't dump you into, let's see, getting started, let's see what it yeah, it's not dumping you all the way in there, Liz. Oh, I, let you... I found it. Uh, you see where underneath it, it said my account? If you go back to that screen where help and inspiration, uh, the, the first, you know, the first. Oh, okay, one. okay. Um, How do you get back here? Well, she's got it. She's on the help screen. You want to close that one out and go back to your software. You have to start over again. Well, you shouldn't have to. I didn't. Yeah, you I didn't. didn't. Did you close okay, out I'm the whole thing? No. I'm gonna try to do it right now. That's kind of clever. I didn't know you could do that. So you, so I wasn't losing my mind. You can get in there from there. Well, I got to my sonnet, yeah. Okay. And All right. So I, so over here, you went to my account. Right. Okay. Oh, description. Well, yeah. Look at the top where you can select where you can see your the tools. I think it is. Okay. There's the knowledge center at the very bottom. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, there it is. And then just scroll down to the bottom, and there are the videos. So, so oh, see, yeah. Liz, right? Yeah. There you see go. it, Liz? There's your Vantage newsletter. And then I'm the sorry. videos are at the bottom? No, you have to click on the Vantage. I forgot about that. Click on the Vantage newsletter. OK. Oh, yeah, there you go. And then if you click on one, then the video's at the, the bottom. So if you click on the monkey. Because he's cute. 
Yeah, where it says read more. Okay. Isn't he cute? He is cute. And then if you go down, it gives you the lessons plus then it gives you the videos. Oh, yeah. Ha -ha. yeah. I go there often. I didn't okay. know you could get there through your software, though. So we learned something today? Several things, yeah. I yeah. did it. Yeah. Did you get that, Liz? Yes. I, th yes. I think I've opened up in on that screen before. I just never knew how I got there. Well, so that's the screen that pops up when you click on embroidery under the, you click on the MySonet to start the software, and then you have tools or embroidery, and then we click on embroidery, and instead of picking a new project or whatever over on the left hand side you went over there to the right and did open my account okay well else you could just go to instead if you're not on your software just go to mysonet.com and do oh, the you get there without the going through the software my account open so my account yep i got my account it's, it's doing its okay. thing oh but okay. i have to put in, oh the e the password is the one you use for the yeah open. You, don't, you don't need to put the password in because it's already loaded oh okay sign in so then you should be sitting right here and it should say welcome liz gomer it's, yes it does Okay, then over here on the right where it says tools, scroll down. And go to project creator. No, go down to down below those icons and go to the bottom. It says knowledge oh. center. Knowledge center. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, got a machine set up. So then um Then, then I get all of the ones that they've been doing since whenever since Sonet started. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that they reloaded everything. Well, um, the, the first, yeah, this spiral one they just downloaded in June. So, so Liz, I think for some point in time, I think maybe through the end of the year, they're going to keep bo all, both things operating um see like here's this one's november 2020 so it does look like they've loaded through 2020 uh on here this is october so there's a year yeah so you're not just did, they just did the spiral one i just saw that last couple last week okay so you're not losing anything. It's just going to be at a different place. Okay. <sighs> yeah. You got that, Liz? We'll keep it the same till next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got that. So then, but I, oh, I guess they'll let me know when, because I think I'm paid up until next September. I got it written down yeah, somewhere. I, I'll get it. I'll get a little email if I need to do something, but I will I will check on it for you, Liz. But I think they automatically but, turned it into the other thing. All right. If I'm still around when this expires, because I'll be I'll even be older, okay. Um do we still have to do it by the month or can we do it a year? We can't do a year anymore. We have to do monthly. Yeah, you can right? do it. No, no, you can do it a year, but the only way you can do it a year is by calling me. Oh, so even when this it expires, you can go back to doing a year if you want to, right? Yep, yep. Let me ask you, I mean, that's if you want, well, access to both the software and the library. 
but the knowledge centers out there regardless, right? I mean, I don't know if you get, can you get into that if you don't belong to Bandage? I, uh, I, I don't would, belong to Bandage, and I believe I can get into it. So yeah, I was going to say it's just out there under my sonnet. I don't think you're going to have to pay for Advantage anymore. Yeah, you're not. It'll it's it'll it's wrapped into your um, my sonnet now. Oh, they'll just raise the price of sonnet, right? <laughs> No, we're 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 keeping it the same price, Liz. <laughs> if you're not paying for Sonet and the software, what good would the videos do you? Because they're <laughs> the software. So there you go. Exactly. I mean, because the stuff you get for free isn't doesn't do much. Yeah. Yeah. Other than let you look at the design, that's about it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I have one other thing that could possibly be of interest to a few of you. Um, I spoke to Karen Charles yesterday, and they're even though we're, they canceled our convention, Karen is still going out on the road in August. So I wanted to tell you guys that um, on August 24th, she's going to do an Epic test drive, Epic 2 test drive. So that'll be for people that don't own one. Um, but then on the 25th, she's going to do a, a lecture demo all day starting at 930. Um, so she'll actually be here in herself at the store. Um, and I know a lot of you guys watched a ton of her videos over the last year and a half. And um, so if you want to see her in the flesh and touch her samples and all that, that'll be on August 25th. And uh, so on the Epic 2 event, like I said, that's for her to get new customers. But I will take a waiting list if we don't fill it up of existing owners. You know, if you guys want to do it again. But the idea will be for me to get some new owners. But I'll take a wait list for existing owners if it's not filled up. Okay. So I have that on the, um, it's on the schedule. You can register online if you want. And then um, in August, then August up through the 21st, um, we won't have a, bunch of the we won't have software club that in August but we'll still have Judy doing her techniques and the um often Viking workbook classes since those are virtual and it won't interfere with us having shop pop so so anyway that's all I know right now about anything other than the cost of everything continues to rise. Uh, when on the did you say the twenty fifth of August for for Karen? Yeah. Yes, lecture demo. Yeah. Oh, it's just a lecture kind of thing. Yeah. So it was originally it was supposed to be an uh, Icon Two owners event, but we're not going to be doing that on that day. <laughs> be later in the year or whatever. Yeah. So it'll be a lecture demo, and you know she does Viking or Foff, so. That's part of this oh, but not with the new machine. No, we wish it would be, but it is not going to be with the new <laughs> machine yet. It is not to be yet. See, by the time they decide to put it out, I might decide to buy one. <laughs> That's why they're. That's why we're waiting, Liz. We're waiting for you to come on board. I know. <laughs> yeah, they say if Liz isn't hasn't pre-ordered, what's the point? Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, no. Uh, are they going to be sending us to convention or to Sweden or something? They said they were going to. Some I'm, sure I'm sure they're sending you to Sweden, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a one 
two-way ticket. <laughs> In a container ship, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, there you go. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's all I know for today. Hi, Judy. <laughs> Hi, Judy. Yes, Carol. Yes? Um, I didn't get the email today. <laughs> I think your computer's you know, mad at me again. No, I think it's because I sent it to you twice, but it 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 um I got a bunch of them not deliverable and then I sent it again. So I'll resend it to you tonight. But I know that some of it is oh. if I put more than if I put more than four or five people on the email at once, I think Comcast is rejecting them because they think it's spam. Okay. Uh, Carol Foss thought, uh, forwarded it to me so you don't have to send it. Okay. Okay. I thought maybe the ransomware guys had gotten into your computer and you weren't paying. <laughs> well, you know, at this point, somebody sold our handicap ramp last week. Are you kidding me? Holy. No, I am not kidding. Wow. Like, I um, And we got the whole thing on video. I mean, everything. License plate, which I think was stolen. Um, but yeah, <laughs> we, yeah. He sat out here for about 10 minutes. Wow. It was like a uh, like quarter of nine or a quarter of seven on last, I think it was last Friday night or Saturday night. Got out of his car, dorked around. Some people came by on the trail. He opened his engine hood to, I guess, make it look like he was having a problem. And then finally he just picked up that whole thing and shoved it in his vehicle. Our big ramp out front. Yeah, so now we're down a laptop and a ramp. And this one here this one here's got a funny like line going across it. I, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of discouraging, you know. Oh yeah. Wow. Huh. Because that thing's worth more worth more than the laptop was. Because the freight was like 250 bucks and it was freight, not <laughs> see. Yeah. You know, UPS or post office wouldn't even bring it. It had to come, you know, regular freight truck. Did you get a license yeah. plate? Oh, yeah, we got the license plate. We got the make. We got the picture of the guy in the flesh. He had on a white a wife beater tank top. It's crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Is Karen, yeah. Uh, Karen's doing a class tomorrow, right? It's tomorrow, isn't it? Oh, yeah. She's got a okay. sweet pea tomorrow. Yeah, because I, I, yeah, I got that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sweet pea tomorrow. Yep. Okay. I like the patriotic uh, banner, Liz. It's cute behind you. Your wall hanging. That's, that's what I told Liz. I was looking at that. She said it was old. Okay. So, um, oh, you mean that thing on the wall? Yeah. I've had that for so forever. Do you oh, ever, you ever I'm learning all oh, this very good? <laughs> Carol, did you ever trade with AAA when there was a gal named Bonnie that worked for oh, yeah. Bonnie, that doesn't that doesn't sound familiar. Yeah, she was working for them when I when we did that, and we did a little handbag with you know this is a lot of the little handbag was free motion stuff, but we don't do that anymore. <laughs> I could do free motion on a treadle machine, <laughs> and and that one on the wall was just stitches on a sewing machine. We didn't have an embroidery unit yet. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Wow. The 14, whatever it was. Yeah, that was just stitches. 75, yeah. 1475, then it was the 75, I don't know, 
50, 75, the one I really liked and gave away. <laughs> 7570? 7570. Yeah. 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 Oh, well. All right. All right. Okay. Well, I'm going. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. Take care. Okay, bye. Bye. I'll send you some stuff. Uh, it might, it'll be this weekend, D. Okay, that's great. Thank you, Carol. Okay. You're welcome. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye. Bye.